Welcome to lesson B13. In this lesson, you will learn about shifting the voltage level of signals when it's necessary for the specific components you're working with. And then in the next video, you'll learn to work with infrared obstacle sensors and line sensors. In this video, you'll learn how to shift the analog level so your Raspberry Pi can work alongside devices that have a different preferred voltage level. We'll talk through the specifics of how this is done and get to know the level shifting integrated circuit in your kit so you can use it in the activities for this lesson. In previous lessons, you learned that digital signals can be either high or low. The voltage level of a low is always zero volts, but the voltage level of a high signal can depend on the piece of equipment you're working with. The GPIO pins on a Raspberry Pi operate in the range of zero to 3.3 volts with 3.3 volts representing a high signal. Another popular microcontroller board is called the Arduino, and its GPIO pins are based on a system with a range of 0 to 5 volts. In the case of the Arduino, a high signal would be 5 volts. Many devices, such as infrared sensors or RFID readers, are specifically designed to communicate using either 3.3 volts or 5 volt signals. But you must ensure they're compatible with your device. An Arduino can accept 5 volt signals and can generally interface with 3.3 volt devices as well. The Raspberry Pi, with its lower 3.3 volt GPIO voltage, will be damaged if connected to a device that sends out signals at a 5 volt level. So it's extremely important to understand what signal level a device will be outputting before connecting it to your Raspberry Pi. Generally, devices will use their supply voltage to determine the voltage level used for communication. If an RFID reader is powered by 3.3 volts, then it will likely communicate using 3.3 volts as a high signal. If an infrared obstacle sensor is powered by 5 volts, then it will likely communicate using 5 volts as a high signal. These are only general rules, so always confirm that a device will not communicate using voltage above 3.3 volts if you plan to connect it directly to the GPIO pins of your Raspberry Pi. So what if you find a really interesting sensor that was designed to communicate with an Arduino using 5 volts, but you really want to use it on your Raspberry Pi? For that, you can use hardware level shifting to convert the signal from 5 volts down to 3.3 volts. A hardware level shifter is an integrated circuit or a circuit board that converts one voltage level to another. Now, they are available in many voltage levels, but for these lessons, we'll be focusing on 3.3 volts and 5 volts. These level shifters can come in a few different varieties. Uh, for, for example, there are ones that do 3.3 volts to 5 volts, and they convert a 3.3 volt input signal to a 5 volt output signal. Then there are some that convert a 5 volt input signal to a 3.3 volt output signal. And then finally, you see some that are bidirectional. They'll convert both 3.3 volts and 5 volt inputs into the opposite output. Bidirectional level shifters are generally more costly because they can convert between 3.3 volts and 5 volts in both directions. These devices are used to enable two-way communication between two devices, one using 3.3 volt signals and one using 5 volt signals. If two-way communication is not required, then a standard or unidirectional level shifter can be used to shift the voltage level of signals coming from a 5-volt sensor into signals that are safe for the Raspberry Pi GPIO pins. One model of IC used for this purpose is the 74LVC245. The IC, this IC is an 8-channel level shifter that is capable of level shifting 8 signals at once. By varying its input input voltage, this IC has the ability to shift 3.3 volt inputs to 5 volt outputs, or shift 5 volt inputs to 3.3 volt outputs. Okay, so let's take a look at the pinout for this level shifting IC. The VCC and ground pins will be connected to 3.3 volts and ground. A1 through A8 and B1 through B8 are the configurable input or output pins. Applying 3.3 volt or ground to the DIR and OE pins determines whether A's or B's will be used as inputs. Now, we will be using A as the inputs and B as the outputs. The data sheet for this part states that to enable communication in this direction, OE must be lower grounded and DIR must be high or 3.3 volts. 
This is the way we will configure the IC in the activities section so that the A side can be used as five volt input and the B side can be used as a 3.3 volt output. A channel is made up of A and B pins sharing the same number, okay? This means that A1 and B1 are one channel with A being the input and B being the output. If a five volt high is seen as input A1, then the IC will make B1 go to 3.3 volts to represent a high. A2 feeds to B2, A3 beats to through A, excuse me, A3 feeds to B3 and so on. Okay, let's stop for a moment and take a careful look at the location of each input and output channel. They do not line up, okay? I put some red arrows here to help illustrate this point. On many of these level shifting ICs, the inputs and outputs are directly opposite, but this is not the case with the model in your kit. The OE next to the VCC pin forces all of those pins on the B side to shift down by one, causing a slight misalignment here of inputs and outputs. This means that if you're feeding in a five volt sensor on A6, which is pin seven, do not expect the 3.3 volt output to be present from it across from it on pin 14, as that's actually the output for channel five. The output for channel six is B6, which is on pin 13. Okay, so keeping the small offset in mind while you're wiring inputs and outputs on your IC will help minimize troubleshooting due to outputs not behaving as expected. When shifting signals from five volts down to 3.3 volts, the IC should be powered by 3.3 volts. Here's a diagram of the IC being used to connect a five volt sensor to a GPIO pin on the Raspberry Pi. The sensor outputs a five volt signal that would damage the Pi if connected directly. The five volt signal is instead connected to the input of the level shifter. The level shifter takes the five volt input and converts it to 3.3 volts. This 3.3 volt output can then be connected directly to a GPIO pin on the Raspberry Pi. If the sensor outputs a five volt high, the Pi will see a 3.3 volt high and your program can use this data in any way you'd like. Okay, before you move on to the next video, let's take a few moments and review the concepts we've just discussed. Digital signals operate at high and low, but not every device has the same voltage for its high point. The Raspberry Pi, for example, uses a high signal of 3.3 volts, but many components use a high signal of five volts. It's very important never to connect a five volt device directly to the Raspberry Pi. The integrated circuit included in your level B kit allows input signals of 3.3 volts to be shifted to five volts and five volt inputs to be shifted to 3.3 volt outputs. This makes it possible for those five volt components to be used with the 3.3 volt Raspberry Pi. Okay, go ahead and move on to the next video where you'll learn to work with infrared obstacle sensors.